Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in the last video, I showed you the, gave you a quick tour of the brushes that I created that were inspired by this Jim Battista Valley Couture. And it's really that voluminous uh, layers of tulle and uh, organza or whatever it's called. And I thought it was really cool. And in that video, we made a little, uh, a little flower motif, a little flower illustration that was inspired by that, you know, kind of voluminous um, texture. But in this tutorial, I thought we would do a flower illustration, but do something a little transformative. So that's the fun thing about these Photoshop brushes or getting inspiration from um, fashion is that it can be a jumping off point, but you can do something completely different and completely unique uh, in the end with it. So it doesn't always have to be some kind of literal representation of where you started. So in this one, we're going to make a flower, but it's a little more constrained, a little more flat, but it just shows how versatile the brushes can be and you can have a lot of fun with it. So we're going to do a little flower like you see here on the right. And I've got my little reference on the left that you can see, but we're just going to take this over here and I'm going to show you how I created that. And I like, I always do things with a lot of, um, a lot of texture, a lot of sparkle, but sometimes I like to do something, you know, this is a little different. It's a little flattened, which I think is kind of fun. It's got more of a flat kind of vibe. And I even made a little flat shadow underneath, which was fun. So to start off with, I have these simple shapes that I draw out with a classic brush, nothing, nothing fancy. And let's just uh, start here. So one thing that I like to do is I like to draw out a shape or use a stamp brush and then use that rather than doing like a clipping mask. I like to um, make a selection and paint inside the selection. So that's kind of fun. And yeah, and also just, you know, if you're a patron, I'll have this demo file so that you can play with them and um, even use the shapes and create your own things. So I have this shape and I'm command clicking on the layer here, click on this, um, on the icon, and that's going to make a selection from that shape. I think on a PC it's alt or option. I'm not sure. So I'm going to make a new uh, layer and the first brush that I'm going to grab and I'm grabbing them from my tool preset panel because it's easier for my demos to save them there for handy reference to be efficient. And also if you're one of my um, patrons, I'll have all these tools preloaded with the colors so you can kind of have a little fun with that. But I'm using brush number, um, my tool and lace brush number 13 and I'm using it, I'm painting with a, just a simple, with my simple brush tool, not the pattern stamp tool and just doing one color. And this is just going to create a nice shape and it's still a bit influenced by the fashion, by like the, um, the tool leaves that you see on some of the fashion, but I'm just going to put that in there. I'm happy with that. I'm leaving my selection and I'm going to make a new layer. And for this one, I grabbed my brush work in brush number wet 10 and I'm doing on a new layer so I can, you know, I can always, it's a little bit more editable and I'm still painting in one color. So we're not getting into multicolors yet. So I'm just going to create kind of a center here and use a light pressure. And if you're on a mouse, you can use a little bit of a light flow, but I just kind of wanted to fill this in a bit and have that base back there. So I'm happy with that. I'll create a new layer and then let's see here. This is okay. I grabbed my, I'm going to do the center. So making a new layer, leaving my selection going, that's good. Um, I'm just going to kind of draw a little circle shape here in the center. So this is kind of one of those fun, um, one of the ones from my new collection, we're using that and we're using the brush number six and I'm actually, let me step back here for a second. Of course, I'm using my pattern stamp color blending technique. So I have my pattern stamp tool. I've the color palette that I'm using is one from my April flowers collection. So I thought this would be fun for spring since we're kind of thinking of spring now and I'm using it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, palette number eight. So it's a nice blend of like oranges and pinks and I'll have that link down below. Make sure impressionist is checked, not aligned. And I'm going to just draw a little circle here 
until I'm happy with it. And that's fine. Looks good enough. So we got that kind of, you know, center abstract kind of shape. And now I'll make a new layer. I'm leaving the selection the whole time. And then I'm going to grab brush number seven from the new collection. And this one is kind of fun. And I'm going to, uh, I'll show you over here on a new layer. I like this brush because this one is the one that's contained. And I, I think that's really fun. It makes a really fun pattern kind of effect. So I'm just going to go like I did over on my left side and kind of irregularly paint over my tips of my, um, of my leaves. So I think that's really fun and just making a like not perfect effect. So good enough, close enough, you can see. And so it's just really easy, you know, like you don't have to sit there and draw like little things. This is all about saving time. And I just love how fast it is. It's so cool. And now I'll make a new layer and I'm going to grab just any brush smooth tool. I have one saved here that I've created and it's in a pink. And uh, so you can use any plain brush. And I'm just gonna go like you see over on the left hand side and kind of create, um, just put some edges of plain pink. So I, I like that. This is a little different than my normal style. It's a little more flat, I would say, because I like, I love texture. I love depth in my illustrations, but sometimes it's fun to push yourself. So there we go. We're looking pretty similar. And now I'm going to uh, deselect. We've done the main part. And now I'm going to create a new layer. And I had drawn this little center piece here. And I'm going to command or alt click that to make that selection. And then on a new layer, I'm using that brush number seven that I just used for the edges. And I'm using another color palette from this collection. Um, it is the, a yellow one. So I will uh, just paint over this and I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. I'm, and I'm also using a light pressure so it's not filled in all the way. But just kind of messing around like this, close enough. That looks good. So I'm going to deselect that. I just wanted a little, you know, center kind of piece. And now I'll make one last layer grabbing just any kind of plain smooth brush and I'm painting in pink, I'm going to paint some dots. But first, I am going to apply one of my Creative Couture layer styles in, which one did I have here? Mm. Hold on, I think, I think it was like a lightly encrusted number one. We're going to try this, see how it looks. Yeah, I think that's a good one. So I'll have that link down below from that's that's from my creative couture st styles collection. And if you know, I just want to have a little a little sparkle sparkle. I almost can't finish something without a little a little sparkle, a little bling bling. So I'm just drawing some little pink circles here and then you're going to see them come out as sparkly because I have that layer style applied. So I like just having a little fun there, making it not perfect. Good enough. I'll have all the links down below. Uh, and if you have any questions about my um, color blending technique, I'll have a link down below as well that you can um, familiarize yourself with that because it's really fun. So as you can see here, we use the new brushes, the new Tool Couture, which is very voluminous, very um, layered. And we kind of use them in a more restrained way. So. Let me know down below if you have any questions and stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos.